In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute and scary cat. My name is James and you found Homestyle Woodcrafts. Let's go have some fun. I wanted to show you some of the planning I had done early before I started cutting some of the wood. Uh, so I just sketched up, uh, traced out actually the two, two, uh, two by four under these sheets and then did some different configurations of ears. I even went so far as to measuring the angles, which is probably overkill for this project. But I liked some variety, so I'm gonna do some different things with the ears. And I also experimented with different eyes styles uh, just to help give me an idea of what I wanted to do. I'm going to be using a two by four to make the cats. So the first thing to do is cut the boards to length. Um, and then once I've done that, I'll be able to cut the notch for the ears. I'll be making all my cuts with my jigsaw. Jigsaw is a great and very versatile tool. It's one of the safer power saws that you can use. And they're also available in a wide variety of price points. So you can find one that will match your budget. To make sure my cuts are straight, when I cross cut the wood to length, I'll be using a square. And I'll, I'll hold this in place and run the a jigsaw guide up against it. If you don't have a jigsaw, some alternatives you could consider are using a handsaw because the cuts are minimal and you know they're straight. Or if you have a bandsaw, you could use that as well. Just a few things to go over before I start cutting the wood. First of all, uh, I pre pre marked the wood here, here, and here. I'm making three sizes: a 12 inch, a 9 inch, and a 6 inch cat. Normally I won't pre-mark all the cuts uh, because I want to account for the kerf when I saw the wood. And the kerf is that gap in the wood created by the saw blade. On this project though that kind of precision really isn't necessary. So just to make it more efficient I went ahead and marked the wood all one time. Um, so one thing to think about with your if you're using a jigsaw or you're new to using a jigsaw because the blade is so thin, it is subject to bending while you're cutting if you apply, apply too much lateral um, pressure. So just be really careful about that. Just let the saw do its work and it'll be fine. Then make sure that you clamp your workpiece down well to dampen the vibration and to keep it secure so it's not moving around while you cut. And then finally, Use your safety gear, be safe. Okay, let's go.
Now, before we paint the cats, I'm going to sand them down with my random orbital sander. The painting is coming in along nicely. They actually finished painting these guys up. Let me show you close up. Here's the little one. So what you did is just using some of this craft paint, use one of these foam brushes and painted them black. And then she uh, used a smaller brush with some of the white craft paint, painted the eyes, and then went in and painted the pupils. After they were all dry, she went in and sanded the edges, which gives, gives it a nice look. And so they're all done and they're pretty cute. I showed some co-workers and uh, they thought they were pretty cute too. So we've been having some fun with them already. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as we made this cute and scary, so scary, uh, Halloween cat. It's been a fun project. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please uh, like and subscribe. We'd love to have you part of our community. See you next time.